Some people have a lot of a lot of luck with Max. Obviously, we did. Well, good morning. We uh, we did sleep in the Mac. Fat butts, get over here, babies. I slept like a baby. <clears throat> oh, I slept so good in that Mac. That Penske bed is so uncomfortable. So, just trying to let the sun come up a little bit and throw some sunlight over here because it's like 40 degrees out here now. It's crazy, it was like 80 when we were here last week and now it's 40 today. It's gonna be in the 50s all week. So it's never really gonna warm up. And uh, I mean, today's Saturday. I wanna have this thing done hopefully by tomorrow. And then uh, we'll return the Penske truck on Monday and uh, hopefully drive this thing home. Hopefully. That's the plan at least. I don't know what to do if that harness doesn't fix it. Well, we'll let this sun come up, shine a little bit of heat over here. Here I am standing in the shade talking about it being cold. <laughs> oh. Watch out, there's the All right, see you guys in a bit. Follow me, come on. Looks like uh, we're not the only ones broke down. This guy's uh, drive shaft is laying on the ground. I just noticed that. Look at that. That's an easy fix. Oh, that's an easy fix. I wish that's the only problem we had. <laughs> that, that would be such an easy fix. Oh, Mackie don't like it. We're gonna drag this over here and tie the dogs to it. <laughs> what is that thing, Mackie? <laughs> Last time we were here, there was somebody uh, going around looking for their dog. They're, they had lost their dog, and a woman came by on a bicycle, and she freaked out. She doesn't like it when I get on the Suron. She's weird. You're such a weird dog, Mackie. Come on, you're gonna get tied to that thing. <laughs> Look like a bunch of hobos out here pulling the Walmart shopping cart. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, before I started on this harness, actually, I started on the harness. I started on bolting and uh, taking everything off. But I'd remember I read on a post of. Uh, somebody suggesting to ohm out the injectors so the bottom two should ohm out to each other and then the top two should ohm out to each other but the bottom should never ohm out to the top these three injectors are fine as you guys know we were having uh, codes on injector four five and six and it also said in the form that one bad injector can show the other injectors being bad number four bottom left ohms out to the both top So it's an injector problem. It's not a uh, it's not a harness problem. And we just drug this trailer all the way up. I, I I should have just taken the trailer home. We should have just taken the trailer home. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I, I can't believe my luck. These are those these are those Tamarax injectors that I'm like, I'm gonna give it one more shot, man. And it bit me in the butt. These injectors bit me in the butt. What is this, four times now? I'm I'm so frustrated. I, I have to figure out what I can do with this trailer now. And it looks like I might need to keep this Penske truck and run this truck home. Well, 
check. I wish I'd have took that trailer home now. So the plan is now, Roberto, the guy that gave us the uh, APU, he found somebody on Facebook Marketplace that will rent me one of those fifth wheel toters for uh, $300 for the week. So I called him up. Luckily, he just got that back. So it's three hours north of us. So what we have to do now is we have to rent the Penske truck for a little bit longer. The guy's gonna let me store my trailer at his place. We're gonna grab the Penske truck, we're gonna put the toter on, and then we are, um, we're gonna come back and get the Mac. We'll run the Mac home. We'll take the Penske truck back up here. Hopefully, the financing for our other truck will be, uh, will be done. And then we can either fly or drive to New York, pick up our new truck, drive it over here. Oh, Move, Fat Butts. Hey, go. Drive it over here and grab our trailer. This is like, this is bad, man. This is really bad. I wish I would have just taken this trailer to the house. Oh, we were five and a half hours from the house. <sighs> but my greed, man. I was wanting to find, I was wanting to find a load up here to try to pay for all of this. <sighs> Which way does this thing go? This is crazy, man. This is crazy. I thought I was gonna be spending the next two days replacing the harness, not driving my truck home. I can't win, dude. I thought for sure. I thought for sure. It was the harness and all the stars had aligned for me with Barry finding one that had the exact part number that I needed that I couldn't find anywhere in the country in stock. I don't know if that was good luck for him to get rid of the harness. Surely it wasn't good luck for him. <laughs> it was good luck for him to get rid of the harness, right? I thought for sure. Oh man. I mean, do we use the Penske or do we use the new truck next week? Uh, I don't know. See how far it is.
we've done 1,553. So we're 53 miles over over what I said we were going to be, which isn't bad. I thought it'd be way more than that since we took that. We took that. I mean, we end up taking that forklift That's 50 miles. There it is right there. So what did you want me to do? From here to DeSoto. Okay. From DeSoto to Valdosta. Actually, you do from here to DeSoto. I'll do DeSoto to Valdosta. DeSoto, Wisconsin to Valdosta, Georgia. That's 1173 miles. where we are what a nice guy man what a super nice guy so we're just gonna drop our trailer here I guess he owns this spot and uh, oh yeah I need to throw that on the front we got to do something with the spare uh, this is what was this place called Red Mound Wisconsin just this is it this is Red Mound this is how big this town is so, man, I'm really hoping this thing's gonna be okay here. I'm gonna get that, we need to get that lock to lock this fifth wheel and uh, do something with this tire, huh? Where's that at? Where's the lock in the silver box. 
Well, here she is. Somebody could really screw me over by uh, messing with any of my stuff here. I got this now locked to this. Worried about the bike. I'm worried about the ramps. We got our spare tire back here chained to the ramps. I mean, we're out in the middle of nowhere, but you just don't know. I mean, there's nothing we can do, man. If something happens, it happens. I don't know. I guess we're gonna head back to pilot. Nothing we can do about it. All right, I'm not sure if I've explained what we're doing yet or not, I completely forgot. So our original intentions were to go rent that thing from this guy from the Penske truck. But then I added up like the mileage and stuff and I'm like, just didn't make any sense to use this Penske truck. So I talked to that guy. He let me drop the trailer. I told him we were gonna get our new truck in New York next week. And then I'll come back to his place. I'll rent that thing with a new truck. We'll pull the Mac home. And then I'll come back, give them back that thing, and then uh, hook up to the trailer. And then hopefully find a load with the new truck and the trailer heading back out of here. Um, we talked about renting a car and going to my grandma's and returning it in Ohio and just borrowing her car to go go to New York and just returning it as we came back through but she sold her car so we've just got a car rented now that we have to pick up in Rockford Illinois which is where this goes back but I think we have to pick up at the airport right that's what we ultimately found out yeah we'll be picking that up at the airport so what's gonna happen is we're gonna drive this thing down in the morning there's a loves truck stop close to the airport I'm gonna park this truck there take an Uber into the airport because it looks like you can't get a semi truck even though it's a bobtail into the airport take an Uber into the airport drive out of the airport back to this truck stop Lita will follow me with the rental car and then we'll take this thing back to Penske and then we'll take the rental car and we're still gonna go to Ohio probably hang out at my grandma's and wait on the bank to finalize everything and then when they tell us it's good to go then we're gonna jump back in the rental car that we've rented from Monday till Monday drive up to New York pick up the truck and then I think we have to uh, we have to return the truck like 10 minutes from there right in Vermont or uh, what's the name of it Victor Victor New York and then we'll, we'll, we'll continue with the truck to Wisconsin, grab the Mac. What's funny is I was telling Lita, I'm like, how cool would it be like when we couldn't find a, 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 a new harness and we're like, well, we gotta tow the, we gotta tow the truck home. I'm like, how cool would it be to like tow the truck home with the new truck? And then like, and then I was like also thinking, I'm like, if we could get the Mac fixed, we can, we can pull the new truck home with a Mac and that'll be its last that'll be its last load for us is pulling home the truck that's replacing it. It's just a shame that that uh, injector is um, short circuited inside of it. Like what causes that? Is it uh, is it my harness that's shorting it out? It's the number four injector. I want to say when we broke down in Gainesville, it was the number three injector. Go lay down. So not all the failures with those injectors have been like the injector to the cup failing. I'm pretty sure because it feels and is acting exactly like when we broke down in Gainesville. Yeah. And I guarantee you that injector problem was electrical too. What a freaking nightmare. I wish I'd have listened to Lita and dropped the trailer off at the house. Because then we'd only be making one trip up here to Wisconsin. 
to pick up the truck. Ah. Uh, Lita was right again. I just figured, like, all the codes were, like, saying, like, when you looked up the codes, wire and harness, wire and harness, wire and harness. Yeah, but we didn't know that. And then I couldn't find the right harness, and that's when I was like, all right, let's just take the, um, let's just take the trailer home. And then Barry texted me a picture of the wire and harness with the exact part number. And I'm like, bro, that's, that's going to fix it. And my thought was, we can take a load with the Mac home and help pay for some of this. Well, now it's actually cost us money. That Mac's been a thorn in my side since we've had it. But I don't know if a lot of you guys know this or not. The day we went and picked up that Mac, while I was picking up that Mac down in Florida, uh, my dog Dooley died. So maybe that was like a bad omen there. Like, I, I kind of looked at it like, I can't let that go to waste and just give up on this truck. Maybe that was a bad, a bad way of looking at it. Like, I didn't want to give up on the truck because I lost Dooley picking that truck up. And maybe, Obviously, looking back on it now, it was probably a sign. It was a sign not to get the truck. I don't know. You just never know. Everybody's got an opinion on everything. Fix your old truck, buy a new truck. I'll never make all of you guys happy. No matter what, it's like... Chevy versus Ford. Do I got it? Yeah, nobody's coming. Chevy versus Ford. There's always going to be someone upset that I didn't buy their truck or their motor or whatever. I don't know, man. What can you do? Some people have a lot of a lot of luck with Max. Obviously, we did. We are headed back to the pilot in Beloit. We're just gonna park right behind the Mac with this so we don't take up another parking spot. And then uh, tomorrow, Sunday, um, which would be a whole day. I guess I can edit videos now. I have a, a video edited. In the chamber, ready to bang. I got. I gotta put the tags and stuff in it. But, anyways, I guess we'll see you guys back in Beloit. Look at that. We've been here so long. That building's completely gone. That's where that red roof was that they were ripping off. That's the hotel that we stayed at. Oh, there's a bunch of cops over there. Something's going down at the hotel. Look at all those cops. No, bro. Completely gone. We're gonna go eat at this uh, road dog. Uh, maybe get a a cocktail. It's silly out. I should have brought my jacket, huh? I don't know. Uh, you'll have to keep me. Give me that jacket. No, this is all I have. Hey, deal with it. You want a picture next to the doggy? I'm good. Okay. All right, guys. It's uh. Sunday afternoon now. We, uh, we're letting the dogs out. We've got the cone of shame on fat butts. We're pretty sure Mackie scratched her eye pretty good. Her eye's pretty swollen and she won't leave it alone. She keeps messing with it. So we had to go over to um, Maynard's and get a, a cone. And then we went to Walmart and got her some dog eye drops. She is not having a good time. Poor fat butts. Mac, when they're playing, Mackie just always does this paw thing. We didn't see it happen, but we're pretty sure that's what happened. She, oh, like Mackie uses her paws more than any other dog I've ever seen. It's, it's crazy. So, anyways, we've got to sort through everything in the Mac that we need to put in the Penske truck that we want the pen from the Penske truck 
to the rental car. So we still have our freezer in here. We need to move our freezer back in here, but we need to move everything that we need to go to get the other truck. They don't have a laundry mat here, so we can't do laundry here. So we're gonna have like a whole bunch of laundry that we have to take to grandma's to get the, to do laundry at grandma's. Um, man, this is just, um, this truck has just been a pain in the butt, honestly. It's, uh, this has really put us out, man. This is, uh, it's gonna be an expensive little ordeal to uh, drive this thing down and drive it up and, and everything. So my hope is we can tow this thing home, get the headache rack and everything moved over to the new truck. And then when we come up to pick up the the flatbed or the step deck, we can grab a load from up here and at least at least make some money going back towards the house. I think I'll be able to sticker it out. I had a whole new set of stickers back when we were gonna buy that, that other truck. And uh, I'm sorry, fat butts. So we have, we have the whole sticker set already that's been sitting there forever. So I'll have the stickers to do that. We'll just have to uh, get the tag swapped over from this to the new truck. And I don't know what that's gonna entail. I have no idea how big of a pain in the butt that's gonna be, but it's gonna have to be whatever it is. Stop, don't, don't eat a leaf, you weirdo. Went and got my hair cut at Walmart. I don't know how good of a job she did. I don't know, when people ask me how to cut my hair, I'm just like, just cut it however you want. I just don't want it in my ears. I wear a hat. Lita tried to kind of walk her through it. I normally go to the same place in Bout Austin. They have everything like saved in the computer, all right. A number three on the side, a number four here, or whatever they do, I have no idea. I really don't care. I just needed it out of my ears and out of my face, you know, so. Anyways, we're going to uh, get everything swapped over and, um, leave out in the morning. We'll have to drive this to a Love's by the airport, take an Uber into the airport to get the uh, rental car. Because I don't think, Lita doesn't think we can drive this into the airport. How are you getting tangled up already, Max? All right, let me help Lita out. <laughs> 